In this technology radar, the microservices theme is all about the continuing, I guess, explosion in popularity of this uh, architectural style. So we see um, quite a lot of maturity we think will happen probably over the next year in this space. I think especially as people get more experience with implementing and rolling out microservices, you're going to get more and more patterns and just more and more experience and people's stories around how to best do things. The reason that microservices have become popular are in general because they allow you to go faster uh, and deliver more value to your customers. However, just adopting microservices is not going to be the panacea to all your problems. It's not a silver bullet it does come with this additional complexity. So I think the benefit ultimately for taking a microservices approach to your architecture is the pace of change. It enables you to be able to change much more sensibly in a way that fits what your business needs. You can change different things at different speeds. Not everything will need to be updated all the time. We really do believe that organizing your systems around your business capabilities is the right thing to do. And that's how we go in and that's what we recommend to do to clients. So the advice I would give to a smart CTO uh, who is looking to implement or looking to drive adoption of microservices as a style within their organisation would be uh, to, start, to start small, to realise that actually with, with this style of architecture you have to uh, handle a lot of additional complexity in terms of operations, in terms of management of many more services. However, if you can handle that additional complexity, you do get this benefit of moving much, much faster.